Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome all uh, to uh, the online course structure from an architecture the synergy. Uh, now, we move on to the lecture number 3 relationship of structure to the architectural building part 2. So, in uh, the same topic lecture number 2 we discussed about uh, different structural uh, you know example that actually fulfilled uh, the concept of different architectural form. So, we discussed in detail like different uh, concept of say dynamic static or uh, it may be uh, like your uh, you know chaos or in order form of architecture and how structure help uh, to bring those concept into reality. Now, in this lecture uh, what we will learn that is the architectural qualities. Now, what exactly the qualities? We are not talking about the qualities of the material to be used for that. Basically, we are talking about uh, the overall experience that quality in this lecture and also we will see that how different structures that help to maintain that quality, to achieve that quality. Now, in this again we have some uh, 5 pairs of that qualities, architectural qualities uh, where we talked, uh, will talk about the simplicity and complexity, open uh, and closed, lightweight, uh, heavy, soft versus hard, elegant versus rough. So, this terminology is uh, sometimes uh, is uh, you know create confusion what about the lightweight and heavy. So, we will not really measure uh, of the weight of the building or um, the structure. So, basically it is not directly leading to the uh, you know physical weight of the building, but the arrangement of overall building how it look like, how we perceive that building. Again the soft and hard is not like a building called soft is uh, we touch and then we have some uh, depression on it and having higher elasticity, it is not. So, looking at that how soft and sometimes we uh, see a building, the formation and the structure used in that building giving a hard form or sense. So, simplicity is basically very simplistic form of creating those uh, you know architectural quality with some structural element. And now, we move on to the first one simplicity versus complexity and we will uh, try to understand these uh, architectural qualities and structure relationship with some case study, some examples. So, first we uh, uh, take this uh, particular image of Villa Savoy, Paris. Uh, again, it is a, a beautiful architecture which uh, having a perfect blend with the nature with uh, this outset like it is being created with very simple form. Now, the way like looking at uh, the building we say it very simple. So, that convey the meaning of simplicity here. So, in this if you see the elevation is very similar the font and rear. So, again they have a ribbon window. So, ribbon window uh, and these openings are very similar then the material, the color, texture everything is very similar. So, it is very straight composition of some rectangle and some cylindrical form, some cuboid and cylindrical form. So, basically it create simplicity. Now, move to the next example. This is the example of one Boston uh, place. Uh, here also it is a high rise building. So, the if you see the structure like Bujal, Arab and all again for the high rise it is also having some complex structural system which actually making this structure strong along with the regular membership. Uh, mem uh, structural member they have some structural bracing. Okay. So, uh, like structural bracing is something where you have to resist from the lateral force. So, along with your members you go for you know supporting those elements with some cross brace. 
Okay, so depending on the flow and if you see that it is being connected uh, to that and sometimes it is exposed to the uh, you know externally or sometimes it is not. So, here also it is very straightforward if we try to just uh, draw the simple elevation. So, it is example of some vertical lines which is very you know straight form of architecture and then horizontal line of these windows. So, even this structure is very huge, but it seems very simple, it conveys the simplicity of architectural quality. So, both the picture go back to the earlier one. So, this is one example is a very you know uh, not a very high rise structure, uh, this is very uh, uh, two story structure, there you maintain the simplicity in the quality with similar kind of elevational treatment from the front and the uh, from the all the sides. Now, here uh, we what we have seen that this is a high rise building, but then also like with uh, vertical and horizontal lines, it is creating a simple uh, simplicity uh, quality of the architecture. Now, move to the complexity, how we can get it. So, this is one example uh, is really a wonder of the world and uh, this is Eiffel Tower. So, in this if you see, if you click photo, if you visit this place definitely you will have uh, some photograph, some selfie, groovy here. So, this is very, very beautiful structure where it is making a very symmetrical uh, axis okay? and uh, these ornaments, all these arrangement looks very beautiful from a distance. But if you have a close look to those corners, the four legs of this and see the arrangement. So, different kind of prismatic truss, different kind of steel arrangement, the way they are laid together, their connections. So, it is not very simple, looking at this is looking very complex. Okay. Uh, so, that is why this particular image is depicting the complexity of architectural quality. So, this is also important thing, sometimes we put this uh, complexity to uh, the structural element to create uh, like sometimes it we can refer back to the again the chaos concept that we discussed in the previous lecture, lecture uh, number 2. So, it is one example of the complexity. Let us take uh, another example of complexity, what is com complex here? Basically, if you see the curvature, so it is giving a very smooth transition, definitely we appreciate this, but the complexity is basically the roofing, how the structure is being made and where form it is going up, down, so everything those arrangement of structure that actually you know help to bring this concept into reality and give the quality of this complexity. So, sometimes complexity does not mean that we will not like that building because of uh, the structural uh, you know you know haphazard or chaos in the system. So, this is example from Harbin Opera House in China where it is one example of the architectural quality convey the complexity. Move to the second architectural quality that is open and closed. Before I just go to few slides for taking uh, some reference from different uh, you know study, just let us uh, guess what exactly will be there in the slide. So, what is open and what is closed? So, open quality architecture means where you experience some openness. It need not to be the open to sky, but the you know structure you make little light or you make the structure in such a manner that you create a transparency, so that you can connect with the you know external environment that is one openness we can say. Sometimes it may be that you create the space so spacious that we do not feel congested and feeling uh, having some openness, we can connect ourselves with the nature. So, some examples if you see that uh, you know most of the international airport, good airports, they have the waiting bay facing uh, the runway. 
So, while waiting you can connect with the you know runway the visually and then you can see the flight taking uh, like landing and uh, files are taking off. So, this is somewhat uh, sometimes we create this kind of architectural quality with open type of uh, arrangement and closed is very you know you know confined where uh, like you cannot really uh, you know see that quality like you feel very confined and you are forced to see what is to be uh, you know shown by the design. So, you cannot connect uh, with the external environment. So, both of them are having uh, the requirement in the field of architecture say for example, closed form architecture where uh, this quality is to be maintained specially for the museum and some area where like uh, there is no need to connect it with the external which may rather hamper the you know internal environment. So, uh, there we go for this kind of thing. So, now let us uh, see uh, what is uh, to be meant. So, this is one example of uh, Shubhanabhumi International Airport, Bangkok. Okay, I personally experienced this space and really it is something like where a long waiting can also uh, not uh, will not matter much because of this connection. So, there are many advantages to create this open type of qualities. First of all, you can connect with the uh, you know external environment. Uh, you can see this person facing outside uh, you know enjoying uh, the operation flight operations and other thing as, as well as uh, maybe this you know corridor which is not much spacious uh, for that, but then also it make it grand so that you do not feel congested to it. This is another image of that how well it is being made and this structure. So, there are some you know steel members which are running through and these are some glass material which is creating this openness with making transparent see and where we can see through uh, the outside environment. Now, move to the next example of openness yes. So, this is another example uh, of that kind which is Louvre Museum in Paris. Here also like it is a, a you know glass pyramid kind of thing where space frame um, is uh, you know installed that are acting as a structural member. So, all these structural members they placed uh, together in a form to create the pyramid and it is covered with some glass. So, that you are protected at the same time when you are inside you can still get connected with the environment with the outside environment. So, that is sometimes encouraging you feel very much uh, you know comfortable very much secure that you can connect with the external you know everything what is going outside uh, what is happening outside. So, this is another architectural quality leading to openness, but to create it in both the example the previous one and this one. The common thing is that use of some steel members which create some void and we filled it up with some transparent material. So, which is helping us to create this kind of open quality uh, like quality wise the openness to the architecture and the supporting structure should be like that. Now, move to the closed form. Now, in this uh, example this is uh, again uh, taken from the same book structure as architecture uh, written by Charles Son and here if you see that though we do not have the wall you know all around, but the way they are placed you are in a closed form you cannot see this ok only this axis is having some openness. So, in some arrangement we get this kind of thing. So, this may be a door or something. So, this is creating a closed form and if you make it more in that manner in this only this opening you can see otherwise it is very closed form. So, this is may be some museum kind of thing and where this may be some other form closer. 
Now, take example of our residential building, a bedroom, a typical bedroom. So, we have this opening this side and maybe the door like for our uh, region. Uh, so, maybe we have window for cross ventilation and all, we have visual connection. Now, in some of the building you just uh, maybe this is a dining area, you make it full glass or make it very transparent, so that you can get connected. So, for both the cases, the use of structural element will be different to create this, uh, you know, to make it stable and create this environment to get connected with the environment and make it open or closed form. So, these are the concept plan. So, more closed form from A to C. Now, let us experience it. Now, in this closed form, this is another example as I mentioned that mostly the closed form uh, uh, or closed you know say architectural quality being observed in most of the museum, because sometimes they do not need the you know daylight, the sunlight because to protect uh, the artifacts kept there from the light and they rely on the artificial lighting or with some different purposes. Now, here also this is museum. So, this is uh, obviously a um, you know some story building. So, here they have some you know glass opening, not opening it is a closed form. So, to in order to get some light from the top. So, they create this, but apart from that if you see this elevation. So, it is all closed, no opening, no window like a normal building uh, that we put in. So, this is one example of the closed uh, architectural quality that uh, being designed. Even in this inside, they also do not have uh, you know any opening or any such window, window opening to connect the um, outside environment, they have something skylight from the top. So, that this corridor will be illuminated. Uh, for the activity. So, uh, unpenetrated high wall creates a sense of closed form. So, if you get some window here or something, so definitely this will not be taken as this category. Uh, this is another example from India, this is newly built Bihar Museum in Patna. Again another example uh, in the museum category, where you can see uh, this is uh, the from the entrance, this is a mass, this is uh, very nicely created with some cotton steel which is weather uh, steel and having some texture with that you know exposed concrete. So, it is creating a very contrasting architecture, but overall if you see the quality category, so it is again a closed form. Although they have very nice environment inside, but from outside it is looking very closed. So, for museum the previous one from Spain and this example from India Patna. So, here uh, the structure is being made with this. So, to make this closed form architecture uh, uh, the structural application will be different because of uh, the span and all and when we have to create some punctures this uh, all this equation all this load calculation will differ, because the moment you create some puncture in the uh, you know surface or the wall definitely the material you used whether glass or wood as window uh, the calculation will change. So, we have to uh, see what is required and what type of you know quality to uh, you know come up with. Now, move to the light weight and heavy, again I am saying this light weight or heavy does not mean uh, that it is the physical weight of the structure. Definitely when uh, architecture look very light weight, overall like um, you know physical weight will be comparatively less, but definitely here it is the visual light uh, weight or heaviness of the building. So, say for example, if I just want to uh, make a door, so I can just uh, create some arch of brick and I just make it support it. So, this is one with a very simple form. So, this is another the same I just make with a huge uh, you know support to that and then in order to give uh, you know considerably small um, thickness I create it 
large to make it grand or I create some ornamentation where the thickness is much much higher than the small one. So, this will make it literally heavy or if you create more 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 uh, detail into it add some elements. So, that will make it very heavy visually heavy whereas, it is very simple slick and uh, considerably light weight. Now, move to the um, example this is from the airport mostly and uh, you will also get many example mostly for the airport and all as because uh, like the airport deal with so many passengers. So, movement of passengers uh, is the basic principle how they can move uh, passengers, they can facilitate passengers and make them uh, an environment which will be very comfortable to them. So, they create the space and that should be obstruction free, one can connect with other, everything should be visible. So, for that we should go for basically a column free space where uh, these are the transitional space where we get it. And we only use those uh, heavy structure or the piers to support it where it is required. Uh, otherwise, we have to make the roofing uh, very much light. So, for that uh, truss can be used, space frame uh, can be used. So, these are uh, the structural element which you know small uh, dimension or small cross section of the iron members can hold this. And along with the advantage, uh, advantage of that, that you can create some translucent uh, you know environment which will allow light to pass on. So, that you can also maximize the day light use. So, make this structure very light, even you see this huge span and uh, look into the roof, it is very you know uh, looking very transparent and only few members are just uh, holding the load, the space frame and all similar to this one also. So, you just have a feel of the structure is very light, visually light may not be the light the way we um, think. Uh, if you add all the load and all it will be a substantial, but visually we can say that it is light and it is only possible when you create this kind of roofing uh, with the truss and you do not have any further use of it. Because the moment if you want to make it more story and all, so probably this kind of structural roofing will not be possible and that time you ha have to face that very hard type you know ceiling on top of you. So, this is possible for this and normally for the airport this are being used. So, this is one example for the lightweight quality and obvious. So, now this is uh, very important for a stadium the huge area to be covered up for the spectator to protect them for the unwanted weather situation it may be a scorching heat or it may be a rain. So, for that there has to be protect and for that definitely the main principle that any any spectator sitting anywhere in that stadium should enjoy uh, the match going on or any sports going on in the field clearly. So, we cannot have you know the heavy column structure to support the roof. So, that is the constraint. In order to overcome that constraint, so we should think of some of the light structure. So, it is possible with some membrane structure. So, what is membrane structure? So, basically membrane is a very thin uh, you know sheet, it may be made of rubber, it may be of cloth and it is to be supported with a minimal structural element. And here you can see, uh, if you can see that uh, there are some pyres outside just uh, you know attached to the stadium where like uh, these members are cabled. So, this is a tensile cable structure okay, and we will also discuss what exactly it is and it hold it. And they put some material which will allow um, uh, light to come, but it will also protect from these things. So, looking at this definitely it is feeling very light structure. So, transparency also play crucial role to feel this the visual perception of lightness. 
So, lightweight roof structure create column free activity space which is essential not only in the stadium, in the same uh, Olympic stadium in Munich they have created similar kind of arrangement entrance gate for that again it is under the same category of lightweight. So, both the example. Uh, if you see that this is a you know example from the airport and next one is the stadium. So, if you go to any stadium and then uh, you can get it. Now, come to heavy. This is St. John University library. So, here if you see what is heaviness in this, there is no such obstruction, regular obstruction because again it is being created. But this is basically a structure which is look very heavy. So, this is like a branches of a tree which is holding the roof. So, instead of uh, having this in order to remove this regular obstruction one has created this kind of uh, structure, but inside it if you look into this it look very heavy and very congested. So, congestion feeling of heaviness they are closely related. So, in this this structure is one example of the heaviness and the material used the concrete and all where you have a large cross section and all we actually perceive it is very heavy. Move to the next example here also if you see this uh, example from Brazil uh, this is uh, again uh, you know area of the art form and all. So, huge concrete structure look very simple right. If you say that you put this example into the simplicity yes it is not very complex, but uh, having this mass ok heavy wall of the concrete it creates and create the sense of heaviness. So, in these two example one is uh, from the library where the supporting piers having different branches holding the roof creating a sense of heaviness and this one is itself those elements ok. Uh, it is creating uh, the architectural quality under the category heaviness. Now, move to the soft and hard already I mentioned soft does not mean that material used in that building is very soft in nature or hard is a very hard material. So, let us uh, see this. So, in this, this is one example of Tama Art University, Japan. So, in this, uh, if you see the plan, the plan is something like this, where plan is in curve and in the elevation also it is in curve. So, double curvature creates a softness as because you know whenever we draw any curve line, it is representing the softness, it symbolizes the wave, the flow and all and whenever we get go for a straight forward straight line it is representing heart in that uh, concept. So, in this it is very smooth and soft and this arches even the interior of this space is uh, having those multiple curvature the plan even the you know arrangement of those furnitures. So, all together it is showing a soft flow. So, curve structure both in plan elevation with suitable geometry irregularity flowing of softness both in exterior and interior space let us. So, I think in this I, I do not need to really say about this it is a nice example of a flow wave. So, this is a apartment building in Denmark where the roof is being created in such a manner it is looking very soft. So, Again, I am mentioning this soft is not about the material quality, it is the visual softness. So, here we can easily make this and it happens you know sometimes uh, when uh, we are um, you know just uh, unintentionally or in subconscious mind when we play with the pain instead of making straight line always we just make something like this right. So, this is the softness and when you make a line it is a bold statement bold line it is represent the hardness. So, move to the hardness from the softness. So, back to back this is a flow and here it is something like is a very bold uh, like say for arrangement of some stone placed together with a minimalistic form and the heavy thickness 
and the material that used stone uh, type. So, it is giving the example of the hardness in the architecture. So, this is also important, this is nice example of holy redeemer charge in Spain and people they do appreciate it is in uh, you know in a good review in architectural forum. Uh, and then uh, this is really uh, you know one example of the hard quality that is so true this is another art foundation here also if you see like as already mentioned very straight line and then use of this concrete structure uh, placed in form it is giving a visual sense of hardness okay and no opening uh, also uh, no openings or no such visual connection with uh, the outside in this surface is one example of the hardness. Now, we are uh, moving uh, to the last pair of uh, qualities that is the elegant and rough. Elegant, uh, the word it is defined is very you know very perfect, very smooth or very sophisticated and when rough is something like very brute. So, uh, some things we create. So, say for example, um, like uh, if you see any such uh, gothic architecture or something. So, there is small small creation, small more ornamentation to the structure is piece of elegant and roughness where it lead to the deconstruction concept uh, to the architecture. So, let us clear our uh, um, this concept uh, little bit uh, clear with example. So, this is one of uh, my favorite example uh, designed by Felix Candela La Oceanographic Building. So, here uh, what happens why it is uh, I put it in the elegant category. Suppose, this is a very good you know you know curb, uh, curvilinear form of architecture where uh, you know parabolic, hyperbolic, hyperbolic, paraboloid this kind of form being used and Felix Candela is good in that. So, in this is perfectly executed the thickness, uh, the petal form or something the seal form. So, it is being created very you know accurately from inside also the this is uh, giving uh, elegance to the example of this exper uh, elegance experience to the users in this. So, rhythmic flow created uh, through curves makes the structure very much elegant. Now, this is another example a terminal building again from India, this is uh, Mumbai International Airport, this is the entrance S and the beauty in this in this particular transition. So, smooth transition of column and you know roof with different elements, it is create very elegant, very beautifully done with a small you know uh, solid void shade and light. So, basically the overall ambience is giving a sense of elegant quality of architecture and it is possible through the structure. So, the purpose as I mentioned for the airport this is a huge span if you can get some idea this is a car it may be of uh, on less than 2 meter uh, and then you can place it. So, this is a huge span that is being supported with this and this particular smooth transaction, a uh, transition sorry and they are like creating uh, this particular piece very elegant. Now, come to the rough. So, rough structure can be created like the way we put it, it may not be something like the result of ignorance during the construction that somebody just left the job in half done and that is why the outcome is that intentionally it may be created to create some contrast. So, this is one example of Skriners museum in Sweden where this extension is made. So, if you have a close look, so it is something rusted steel, but it is not. This is being created with a cotton uh, expo uh, like steel which is weather steel and uh, which is seasoned with some chemical uh, uh, you know into it which will protect this from the external environment. And this similar material being used in the Patna Museum, you can get the detail if you search more on that. And this is basically the exposed concrete. So, with this uh, rough finish with your uh, steel and then this the concrete is 
giving something not really you know bad architecture I guess, it is making a composition and creating the contrast, these two particular color creating contrast that sometimes we are talking about in architecture and create this uh, rough quality in maintaining it without compromising the stability and durability of the structure. Let us take the last example in the rough category where it is again uh, the seashore library where uh, it is again a concrete structure if you see the roof and it is uh, finished uh, very rough and also the cladding has been done giving a you know exposed finish. So, when you put sertering with the wooden it Im, you know put some impression on the concrete without plastering if you go with that. Uh, so, it is giving a rough finish. So, we appreciate this kind of thing in some of the cases. Uh, definitely it is not maintaining or compromising in quality or it is not to be made for the cost cutting to have the beautiful finish sometimes with the rough quality can be maintained. But to get it we have to be choosy about the structural uh, material that we will use it to create it, we cannot create it with all the materials available to us, but definitely. So, we have to be choosy when to use it to make it rough or elegant or smooth. Come to the summary, we summarize this particular lecture. So, in this so we actually learned about uh, the quality architectural quality. So, suitable selection is very important. It is essential to bring the architectural visual quality into reality. So, if we want uh, the quality of open form then definitely that uh, thing should be your uh, very much light and that should be supported not only the structural element, but also structural material as I mentioned in last two slides that where uh, like uh, the cotton uh, steel that material being used which is strong in uh, the you know in order to make it stable as well as this is uh, creating some rough finish. Uh, so, material structural material is another important part to create the visual quality whether it is making rough and all. So, we have to know about the materials and definitely uh, will cover that aspect in some of the lectures uh, and most importantly the overall arrangement should solve the purpose. So, like when we maintain think of the quality, quality definitely will come, but before that it should solve the purpose. If requirement is to create the column free uh, area, then that is the constraint to us and the available options which options are not to be used, we have to discard that. Then we have to select the best option for this, whether it is a truss or it is a uh, like your uh, um, space frame or sometimes you need something to be very bold and very closely placed then maybe these are not being used. Uh, so, with that we have to understand the structural material, the suitable selection of structure, maintaining quality and the purpose to be solved without compromising it. Then structural quality should not be compromised. So, even we talked about the visual quality of architecture to select the structure, but then also we have to say like take care of the structural quality, it should be strong enough, stable enough and durable enough because it incurred not only the cost of construction, but also it is uh, dealing with the life and um, so life of people uh, or any living uh, you know creatures. So, it is very important to make it very safe. So, structural quality and visual quality they should be you know act together to have a desired result. So, this is overall uh, understanding. So, with lecture 2 and 3 we uh, know about the different concept, architectural concept and different architectural quality and this association with the structure, type of structure that support this concept and quality which is having a relation. So, the relationship to the architectural building is being justified with that and in time to time we will also discuss some of the more examples in different context. So, these are the same reading materials, some books you can refer and all the pictures and other they are uh, actually referenced, you can go through and read more about the structure to know 
about their function, um, uh, you can also get some more information about the history or maybe the material used. So, uh, next uh, will be discussed in lecture number 4, the different kind of loads on structure. I just somewhere discreetly mentioned about different kind of loads. Uh, so, we will discuss in detail in that lecture. Uh, thank you all to take part in this. Thank you.